Okay, now let's review today's recipes. Beginning with the Nishikiyaki steamed salmon. Slice the salmon diagonally. Combine the soy sauce, sake, and mirin, and let the salmon marinate for 15 minutes. Flip once. Tear the tofu, microwave for three minutes. Cool, pass through a sieve. Separate the shimeji mushrooms. Cut the carrot into three centimeter long strips. Cut the mitsuba into three centimeter long pieces. Heat the sesame oil and cook the carrot, shimeji mushrooms, mitsuba, and tofu. Then add the mirin, sake, sugar, soy sauce, and salt. Turn off the heat and warm the beaten egg using residual heat. Transfer to a sheet pan. Drain the salmon and lightly saute the surface with vegetable oil. Remove them from the pan. Line the frying pan with oven paper and put the salmon back in. Place the toppings on each piece. Add the sake, cover, and let steam for four to five minutes. Arrange the salmon along with the green garnishing leaves and pickled ginger. Now let's review the warabi mochi recipe. Add the granulated sugar and water to the warabiko. Mix well, cover with plastic wrap and microwave for one minute. Take it out and mix, put it back in the microwave and heat for one more minute. It should have thickened a little, so mix well and cover and heat again. When repeating this for about four times, drop the dough into ice water and let it cool for 10 minutes. Cut into small chunks, let it cool in ice water again, and coat one half of the warabi mochi with kinako. Serve the other half as they are. Then, pour the black sugar syrup over it and eat. Why not enjoy these elegant yet delicious examples of Japanese cuisine?